this is our extended balcony cabin on board the MSC Grandiosa and this trip we're in cabin 10350 so uh, you can use as always sorry wrong one uh, the technology on your armrest that should open the door now this is a different configuration to what we had on our last Grandiosa voyage as well. So let me start off. So as you come in the front door here on the right, start off with a few coat hooks. Uh, if you turn to your left is the bathroom and you have your power switches and where your card goes in there. Plus on the side here is a just a slimline full length mirror. Right, let's go into the bathroom. Bathroom is the same size as our last bathroom now. Um, because of the angles and the different sort of location of the bathroom to our other cabin, it does for some reason feel slightly larger. I'm sure it's the same size. So just give you a nice pan view there. Hey guys. Okay, and if you haven't seen these cabins before, I'll just take you quickly in here. So let's start. So there is some shelving here for all your bits and pieces. Usually I say uh, your lotions and potions. Um, there is a couple of cups there so that you can put your toothbrushes in. Underneath there is a mat, a floor mat for the shower. The toilet's tucked away here in the corner. Okay, sink is okay. Fairly standard, regular size for MSC. Nice big wrap around mirror, so you can look at yourself from all angles. Uh, there is a shaving mirror or a makeup mirror here as well. Just try to have a look to see where the ports are for shavers. Up, oh, they're just located up here on the roof. As we come down here. Uh, we have a cupboard, uh, usually it just opens there, and there's a tiny little bin there. Okay. Alright, swinging around we have the MSC showers. And loving that this is not a shower curtain, but a shower door. It's quite good size in the shower. Uh, there is the uh, like the bar where you can shave your legs um, for the ladies. <coughs> MSC always provide uh, med at sea fragrance. I love it. Shampoo and shower gel, and it's got enough height in there uh, for someone that is fairly tall to stand in there. Tristan's six foot two, and he can fit in there nicely. Up here is just a clothesline your wet clothes on if you need to and so that's the bathroom let's head out back into the main cabin so here in the main cabin uh, last time uh, the configuration of the room we had the double bed on this side of the room and we had a sofa that sort of sat there in the corner we prefer this uh, configuration and the reason we prefer this configuration is we just feel that it's got a lot much more room when you walk in um, we don't mind this because if Josh wants to go to sleep at night he can sleep on the bed here and we can go and enjoy the balcony so as we turn around as we come in I'll just turn around really quickly and just show you this is the wardrobe there we go there plenty of hanging space I find just for a week uh, here on this side you've got your safe you've got your cupboard space there uh, a few drawers in here I think there's three here there we go quite deep so get a fair amount of stuff in there uh, on the other side of the wardrobe oh, we have a cupboard with uh, I suppose plenty of hanging space uh, it drops down on sort of this side here 
so if you've got long dresses or skirts or trousers they will uh, sit in there comfortably up the top uh, there is a shelf up there and um, if you didn't see it before there's just a small safe it's only tiny so usually we just put our passports or wallets in there as well for the week there we go spinning around uh, you can see that there is the desk here now on the desk uh, we have some more storage space for some some items here we have Zoe which is a personal assistant uh, let's have a look and see whether Zoe is actually working at the moment okay Zoe oh what's the weather like today I'm broadcasting the weather forecast for you Shall I switch on the cabin TV now? No, thank you. There we go. So that's Zoe. She's actually working. She I'm wasn't here if you need any more help. Thanks, Zoe. Uh, so she wasn't working last time on in December when we were on the Grandiosa. Here is a mini bar here. Um, it's not included uh, in our particular package, but quite well stocked. Here we go. If you've seen some of our other videos, Bunny had a a fun time drinking out of that last time we we're on here desk is fairly it's quite a big desk uh, there's some more drawer space this is where the oh no this is where you can just put sort of all your odds and sods in here in this drawer over here hair dryer should be yeah there we go so the hair dryer is in the top drawer here and then there's plenty of drawer space so quite deep they go right back so there's four of them there's a like a stool set, a nest of, of sort of stools here. We can use them as tables. Well, that's what we've done in the past. Uh, and a stool. Um, and then, yeah, quite a big, long desk. There's these plastic things here as well. This is where you sort of put your tickets and brochures and all that type of stuff in there as well. Uh, we have, um, because of our status, uh, we do get a free sort of bottle of bubbles. Uh, and some macaroons, but we have ordered some additional um, sparkling and canapes because we have first time cruisers on board with us as well. Here's a lovely big mirror as well. Just makes the room a lot lighter. Going uh, across here, you can see there is two, um, two points here for European. There are two European sockets. Uh, if we come across here, you'll find some USB sockets and some in American sockets as well. Coming from the UK, we always bring an adapter with us as well. It's like a multi-adapter that we use and we can plug in both USB and our UK adapters, our UK uh, plugs. So this here is the phone just sitting on the wall. I find that in every cabin, it just seems to be that we've been in different configurations. It, it just is in various places on the desk, on the wall. Nice big TV here as well. Let's just quickly check because I don't know if it swivels. Oh, yes, it swivels, so it's good. It means that we can watch TV either if we're sitting on Josh's bed or if we are in our own bed. <laughs> it's Tristan pulling faces. So this is the usually the sofa. Uh, we've converted this into Josh's bed. Uh, he likes it, it's quite comfortable. Very, very nice. Uh, and then we have our bed here, uh, which is sort of like, I suppose, a king-size bed very comfortable never have a problem uh, with MSE beds if we just pan over here you can see there is uh, on each side there is uh, some space uh, to uh, store some items and also when you're charging your mobile at night um, as I've probably shown in other videos as well you'll see there's a USB port on the lights so you can charge your mobile phones and there's these light switches here. Turn the lights on and off. Here we go. Uh, another feature is this big mirror just in front of the bed. I don't know if people like seeing themselves in bed, um, but it actually just makes the cabin look a lot bigger. Uh, being an extended balcony, we're sort of on the curve of the ship. Open the door for you this time. Ah, yes. So I never, I'm never great at opening these doors, but this is sort of a corner extended balcony. So let me just show you, it is quite a nice size balcony. So I'm just gonna show you what the, what it looks like from the other side. 
So we're on one of those real corner, uh, on one of those corners that just is against the big steel wall. A bit exposed to your neighbours, but um, what's really good though is that you've got this divider here. It seems quite sheltered. It's really private. It is very very private, really private, isn't it? And it is a big space, which for us, with three of us and Josh, gives him some space, especially because he likes some downtime occasions. Yeah. And therefore, to a bigger balcony is a bit nicer. It is nicer, yeah. So we're really lucky to, to sort of have this. Um, the nice thing is, is you've got sort of the the promenade sort of deck here as well. It's nice just to people watch from here. It's set back enough to keep you from being too kind of as well exposed if it's out at sea. I think you could actually use this one. Unlike a lot of them, like the one we're in in December and on the tw and deck 12, you were right, you know, exposed. Yeah. So as soon as the ship sails, the wind's there and things here, I think it'll be pretty sheltered. That's right. So there's our cabin tour. Um, so we, we, you know, it's really nice, decent sized cabin. I'm just gonna catch it from a different angle as well. I'm really happy. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, like, comment, and share.